Welcome to the thought for February the 22nd. Our readings today are Exodus 35, Psalm 92 and 93, and 1 Corinthians chapters 4 and 5. And our thought is, declare your steadfast love. Today's Psalm 92 tells us, it is good to declare your steadfast love in the morning. It is important to begin each day with taking at least a little time to focus our thoughts upon God, to declare to Him in prayer our steadfast love. We read on, For you, O Lord, have made me glad by your work. At the works of your hands I sing for joy. Verse 4 The wonders of creation are all around us. It is so easy to take them for granted. It is the greatest foolishness of human thinking to imagine that everything sort of created itself. God's handiwork surrounds us on every side. Men have discovered so much more about the wonders of their own bodies and the incredible intricacies of nature, yet so few acknowledge and are in awe of the unlimited creative mind that brought it all into being. The psalmist says it should make us glad and sing for joy. How great are your works, O Lord! Your thoughts are very deep. Verses 4 and 5. The last statement seems inadequate. Can we begin to imagine the thought process of God? No, we cannot. Through Isaiah, God said, For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Isaiah 55 verses 8 and 10. Last month in Psalm 40, we read, You have multiplied, O Lord my God, your wondrous deeds and your thoughts towards us. None can compare with you. I will proclaim and tell of them, yet they are more than can be told. Verse 5. Tomorrow in Psalm 94 we will read the contrast. The Lord knows the thoughts of man. They are but a breath. Verse 11. But having said that the psalm is positive, and we read on, Blessed is the man whom you discipline, O Lord and whom you teach out of your law. Verse 12. May you and I feel blessed. So we learn, especially in the Psalms, that God's eyes and thoughts are towards those who fear and love him. We have been learning in Exodus of how close to God Moses became. We read yesterday of how he was able to speak to God face to face, as a man speaks to a friend. Chapter 33, verse 11. This does not mean physically face to face, but rather mind to mind. The limits to physical contact are described in verse 20 when God said, You cannot see my face, for men shall not see me and live. There is a sense in which the Bible shows us the face of God, but only when we prayerfully read it with our heart open to receive and meditate on its meaning. How precious it should be to us. How they longed to read it hundreds of years ago when copies were precious and very expensive because they all had to be handwritten and paper was very expensive. Today the situation is very opposite and the attitude has become the opposite. Let us not be affected by this. Let us declare our steadfast love every morning and throughout every day. Well, thank you very much for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word and we remember that they are a a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.